Hello Koho fans out there, my name is Amukeji and I got an FPV OD for you today of me playing as a Wehrmacht Terror Commander uh, on some, uh, uh, against an infantry US player. Actually, it's not an FPV OD in itself, you know, it's an FPV OD after the fact because I recorded the commentary after I played the game because I really hadn't prepared this to happen but ju just thought I would do it, so there you go. Now if you wonder about me, I just started playing COH about, I don't know, three years ago. I started with a gold version, you know, the expansion um, Opposing Fronts was already out by the time I started and I had been active for what, what one and a half year or something. Then I took a break, then uh, there were some disasters, patches and COH that made it nearly <laughs> unplayable. I do, you know, I have done my share of shoutcasts for COHs and uh, I played Coho before the uh, beta thing that all the commanders were deleted. I played around, around, I don't know, 40 or 50 games both as US and Wehrmacht back then. And what I noticed is that, you know, there was an influx of players into the game due to the fact of the COHs online beta being released that actually didn't have a good grasp of the game in it as you know older COH players had so uh, now that I actually am back after the whole deletion thing and all I thought uh, there you go we have some good good players right now you know the ladders are populated there are some things that need to be addressed and all uh, but there are still players uh, that haven't really f fit in the uh, you know the mechanics and the understanding of the game that you need to have in order to, to to have a solid foundation and build up on your play. So I thought I would do this. And I guess you know anyone could benefit, at least anyone lower than my level of play. And uh, there you go. Here you go. So let's get this game started. And of course, I'm starting on the north of the Semwa. My first thing, of course, to do is to build my Wehrmacht quarters. I'm not pious spamming or anything, <laughs> as I've seen some people do. You know, by the way, there are people that have been doing what I do for a while, you know, in verse. Go check out his channel. And there's some solid commentary coming out of Harlequin Kohu and his YouTube channel as well. So if you want, you know, something more regular or something more advanced in some cases, go there. Now my second unit, of course, a hero, a pioneer squad, and I'm sending over the fuel. I'm going to surround that particular fuel point with wire, and I have set up all the Q commands right now. You're not seeing it, of course, because, you know, as I said, I already played the game, but you will see it happening in a while. Now my opening strategy is to get this solid uh, munitions income. Uh, by capping that medium munition point here. Then I will f go forward with, me with my first Volks here and here to cap, to connect that fuel and get some early fuel income. This Pioneer will go around the victory point over here, cap that and then go and wire this point and this point. So I have this section kind of, you know, uh, secured by, har you know, rifleman harassment since engineers, you know, can cut wa through wire and all. Uh, my plan also extends to capturing this munitions point here, then wiring this area so that it's made even more difficult for the US player to harass me here, and then try to cap this. If I can't cap this, I will retreat. And of course I we converse with the rest of my forces on the center of the map here after I have secured this and this portion of the map. Of course this is my plan, I don't know how it will go, so we'll have to figure it out eventually. Uh, one thing to note is uh, that you seriously uh, need to be paying attention to your uh, tactical map. At least I do it almost all the time because if this is, you know, the actual, uh, actually this is a bug, you wouldn't be able to see it in a, <laughs> in a game like this. But um, looking at the tactical map, having queued up all your orders and stuff, you will be able to spot really quickly where the aggression is coming from, so you don't have to worry about it. Here's the, there's, uh, some engineers, probably 
it, they have been queued by the American player, I'm gonna chase them down. It's okay, since this single rifle squad was not that aggressive as I expected it to be, so I'll be closing in on those engineers trying to um, to deflect this threat. Of course, this is the important thing, you have to always to be on, uh, in cover when you're fighting, and that is what the Amer American player does, and so did I. Uh, I realized at the time that, you know, my hero Volks was not needed, so I used it to cap the point, although it was not necessary. And this is a mistake I'm doing here, although I quickly realized there's a threat, and I stopped wiring, uh, then uh, these uh, advanced defenses are level 5, they have increased health, so I should have retreated uh, at that time, but I did not, I focused on what was happening down here where you see the American player has brought two rifleman squads I have started yeah that was <laughs> that were my pioneers going down to those advanced defense engineers that should never have happened but anyway uh, <laughs> here uh, I choose of course to garrison the building to increase the survivability of this hero Volkswagen squad and I will keep my two other Volks in uh, cover and at long range so they can be actually effective against those uh, riflemen. I did not choose to focus fire anything at the moment because you know this maneuver th they are going to uh, do or you know even in their previous position if I did focus I did click on and right click them on them they my troops may have changed their position and I would have lost you know firing uh, time there so I just stopped to let them in cover and decide for themselves now this position for the American player is really precarious he should have retreated uh, with his rifle squads it's a late retreat by myself there, but it seems my the American player is not paying attention. Now you will notice that I have been setting my fourth Volks up there to deflect that uh, capping engineer, while I will try to uh, fight against those uh, Wilson's riflemen over here behind cover. I'm bringing over this uh, Pioneer which I upgrade with Flamers because I never know how this is going to turn out. I think they have grenades as well, so you always have to be on the lookout for this. I will see that I'm late, a bit late on retreating and I take casualties on one of my uh, Falsk squad. However, my Flamer is in time and we both retreat almost at the same time. In the top, uh, he is losing, the US player lost his engineers because he was paying attention down here which um, I guess it's a good thing to do if you know or if you suspect your opponent cannot handle two battles at a time try to attack at the same time and you're surely gonna have something uh, in your game here I'm laying mines, I do not opt for a wire early on because I want uh, him to just trip over it and take some casualties and uh, I have made it clear to myself at this point that I will be focusing on this part of the map I won't deal with the east so much uh, I'll just be sending uh, a single uh, infantry squad there and try to harass it now I do what I missed to do with my pioneers I wire this off which is really important as I said because it prevents riflemen for quickly going there and capping your munitions point and harassing you. Now this uh, this one is, uh, but the point I want to make here is that if you're really close to capping a point, cap it and then retreat immediately, even shift a click on the retreat so that they you lose no time at all, because it was clear here that I didn't have any chance. Of course this mine is still around, so if he is if he's going to go there with his rifle, he's going to trip that mine. Now I'm building a med bunker here. See, this uh, is a good ta tactic to remove your squads from capping in case there's a enemy unit nearby that has the potential to do some damage like the flamers do. Uh, here, um, even though I'm not effective at close range with folks, 
uh, the rough, the engineer squad is highly outnumbered, so he does have to retreat. Now, a bit about the positioning of the med bunker. This is a blind spot for this building, so even if you, your opponent sneaks in uh, with some flame engineers, he can't make use of the building to fire on the button on the bunker. So he'll have to stay out of the building. Now, I hear that mine blowing up. I check the screen. And I know that riflemen are going there, so I have to make a choice whether I'll send my two false squad over here against those uh, Wilson riflemen, or I'll send them over here. Uh, having seen that I already have these reinforcements going there, I choose not to do so. And so these two false will have a standoff with these two riflemen here, and I'll try to hold this front with those volks as soon as I c as long as I can until the second false squad comes here. Now this is what I did with the flamers. I did this because I didn't want to risk the flamers going really close to the Wilson's riflemen. Let's see, did I? Yeah, I didn't dodge that grenade actually. But I knew that uh, 